ladies and gentlemen, this is the final stop before WEDF Rebellion. This is Brent Dog, and we are live from San Francisco, California for another edition of WEDS Smackdown, and we have some huge matches for tonight. First up, King of the Ring finalist Dolph Ziggler will face off against Rawls Kurt Angle as Dolph Ziggler looks to gain momentum as Kurt Angle was invited to Raw for Smackdown. Smack also, we have a six-man tag as CM Punk and The Bar face off against the Brothers of Destruction and WEDF Champion Samoa Joe is Champions versus Challengers. First off on WEDS SmackDown, we have a battle of the bulls. This has been brewing for weeks. The big guy gets his rematch against the monster among men. And I believe this is a street fight. It's feeding time for a right back. Ryback. And now they're going to face off one on one. Here comes the monster among them. This is a rematch from the 10 year anniversary special. And these two face off Braun Strowman defeated Ryback. My count out. And Braun Strowman has been terrorizing the WEDS SmackDown roster. Even had a battle against the best where the ring broken King of the Ring and Ryback. Right Wasting no time rolling up for Braun Strowman. Ryback right knows what's at stake. He knows he's going to have to do a lot to take down a monster among men. And this is Falls Count anywhere. Anything goes. No disqualifications. No countouts. And look at Braun Strowman. Look at the strength of Braun Strowman just tossing Ryback like he's a small child. But Ryback not backing down. Ryback showing no signs of intimidation. Going right up to the monster among men. Some big right hands. And a hit thrust into the corner. This is the final stop before WEDF Rebellion. And this is a Rebellion type match right here. And Ryback tries to get retribution. Braun Strowman's only lost, I believe, one match in WEDF, and that was against Abyss. And he wasn't even pinned or submitted. The ring broke. Ryback has had some type of alliance. But look at the strength of Ryback. Braun Strowman, I mean, has had an alliance of sorts with. All truth and Curtis Axel. And look at Braun Strowman. A drop kick right there. Very impressive. But Ryback showing no signs of intimidation. There's a DDT to Braun Strowman. This is where the fun begins. For these two behemoths. Ryback has had an impressive run in WEDF. Hasn't been impressive as of late. This is matches like R-Truth after being undefeated and taking out superstars such as Batista. As Ryback, you know, he, he faced men like Batista that were main eventers that were future Hall of Famers that have headlined WrestleMania, but now there's a big, bigger boy on the block named Braun Strowman. And this is not someone like the great Cowley that can barely move Braun Strowman who moved like like no other big man I've seen in recent time. And these two are fighting into the crowd. These right hands are not even phasing Strowman. 
Robert struggling to stay on his feet. And they're going back into the ringside area. Uh-oh, here comes Strowman. Oh! Ryback goes, goes Strowman back over with a big right hand. But Strowman unfazed. Oh, what a headbutt. Big time headbutt by Braun Strowman. Now here comes the monster one man. Ryback is stunned. Look at a big close on. The question is, who can stop? The monster among men. This had trouble. It took the rain imploding to stop him there. But this monster has not been pinned or submitted. Ryback trying to take the big redwood down at that chop block earlier. Ryback's used to overpowering his opponents. He knows that he's probably going to have to outquit Strowman. So far, Ryback has had the upper hand <clears throat> taken down Braun Strowman or in the early goings. And a headbutt. Another right hand to the gut. Oh, look at Braun Strowman just like that. Just tosses Ryback around like Ryback did nothing to him. Oh, no. Here comes a choke slam. No, Ryback counters. Ryback bounces off the ropes. There's the meat hook clothesline. The meat hook clothesline connects into the cover. There's a one. Wow. Not even a two count after that meat hook clothesline. And now Ryback. Can he do it? Can he hit a shell strike? He hit it before on United. The Braun Strowman got back up just like that. Wait. Ryback. He's going to hit it. There it is. The... Shell shot. Could this be it? This could be a huge up. What? No. There is no way. Strowman. It couldn't even get a two count. And Ryback realizes he's going to have to do more to put down the monster. Here we go again. This is the second time for me. The shell shot. No. Strowman overpowers Ryback. And now Ryback goozled. There's a choke play by Strowman. Here's a cover. There's one. There's a two. And Ryback kicks out of two. And now Strowman. Oh, look at the strength. He's looking to hit that running power slam. He's going to hit it. He hits it. That's it for Ryback. It's over. There's one. There's two. And no. Remember up the 10 year anniversary show. Ryback kicked out of the running power slam. And Strowman took that out. Oh, there goes the referee. And Strowman realizes there's no count no disqualifications. He can't win by count this time. He's going to have to beat Ryback and hold him down for three. Look at Ryback. Look at this. There's a big splash while the referee is down. And again, Strowman kicks out. And Ryback is 290 pounds. He's dwarfed by the 6 foot 8, 385 pound Strowman. And Ryback won't back down. Ryback knows. He's going to have to take it to the monster. And again, Strowman is struggling it off. He, he's impervious to pain. Oh, and there's that exposed turnbuckle. Remember, Strowman exposed that turnbuckle early on. And now Strowman's getting the steps. I think he is. Strowman just toying with right back, it looks like. Oh, he's got a chair. He's got a chair. He's going to use it. No. Strowman took too much time. Well, look at that. Ryback trying to use the chair. And Strowman just forced it out of his hand. 
And now Strowman's got the chair right in the face. Chair shot to the face, and now he's going after the gut. Now he's going for the back. I mean, Strowman has enough weapons for his own body. Now you give him a chair. He says he doesn't need the chair. He can finish right back off. Right now. Is he going for a power bomb? No. Ryback powers out of it. This could be the opening Ryback needs. Ryback with some hard right hands. Strowman's in the corner. Strowman's defenseless. Referee can't count to five and disqualify Ryback for this. Everything's legal. And the knee just tr trying to choke out Strowman. And now Ryback. He's got the chair now. Ryback's got the chair. Oh, is Robert got planned? Oh, right to the knee. And now to the gut. And again. Oh, no. What is Robert thinking? No. Oh, boy. This can't be good. This could shatter Strowman's ankle. Oh! Strowman by Ryback by a broken Strowman's ankle there. Ryback's not done. Ryback is unrelentless. Wait, it's our truth. That's our truth. The man that's been aligned with Braun Strowman. Oh! Little Jimmy. And Strowman came to the aid of our truth. Said it's some type of alliance between these two. And this is unfair here. This is not right. Double punch. And there's not a damn thing anyone can do about it. Look at Strowman looking for a running power. No, Ryback gets out of it. His original leg speed. Ryback fighting two men off. And our truth again. The numbers game is just too much. For Ryback to overcome. And now R Truth is laughing at Ryback. He's already humiliated him before. Wait, it's Evan Bourne! Evan Bourne! I don't know where did he come from. Both Ryback and Strowman are down. And we see Evan Bourne in the ring. How did he take care of R Truth? And then he's going after Strowman. Oh, what a kick! And Strowman's still on his feet. There goes R Truth. Another spinning hip cut and Strowman's still on his feet. Irish whip reversal. Look at Evan Bourne. There's no way. Evan Bourne just took down right wrong Strowman. The man that defeated Evan Bourne not too long ago. Humiliated and embarrassed Evan Bourne. Looks like Evan Bourne got the last laugh on Strowman. Now, there's two fights going on. There's a street fight between Strowman and and Ryback and Evan Bourne and our truth are fighting it outside. There's a close on that will go Strowman to the outside. All hell has broken loose here on SmackDown as Evan Bourne is taking it. He's taking it to our truth and they're fighting into the crowd now. Big right hand. Oh, what a knee and look at Strowman Robert counters on the stroke slam oh watch out watch out there's no way look at this morning all through the front oh spears of the market spears of the market yes, spears of the market and the mustard is down Strowman's down by the board and our truth are finally on the outside. Born in the upper hand on Robert R. Truth. But Strowman's back on his feet. How? Strowman is back on his feet. He just roared in the face of Ryback. Ryback doesn't know what to do. Ryback looks like he's seen a ghost. But meanwhile, Evan Born 
and our truth fighting it out. Our truth retreating. And look at the power of Strowman. Delay vertical suplex. That's 290 pounds. How much does Ryback have left up the, the out of salt by R Truth and Strowman? I mean, that spear through the barricade didn't even fade Strowman. Big uppercut. And a close on knocking down Ryback. Still to come in WDS SmackDown as champions versus challengers. Champions versus challengers as R and CM Punk face off against the WDF Tag Team Champions Kane and The Undertaker and WDF Champion Samoa Joe. Also, we have Dolph Ziggler taking on Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle accepting the invite from Raw to come to SmackDown. We saw Stone Cold defeat SmackDown Spin Bauer on Raw. And then Cyborg Slam taking down Ryback. Ryback doesn't, I don't think Ryback knows where he's at. I do not think Ryback knows where he's at. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Don't tell me he's going to do it off the stage. Come on now. No, no, no. Off the stage. Money powers up off the stage. The referee just rang the bell. The referee just rang the bell. Ryback is defenseless. I believe Strowman just won this match by referee stoppage. Someone get some help for Ryback. He just took a big fall on that concrete. Someone gets some help for Ryback right now. Someone just destroyed the man. We just saw the destruction of Ryback. Medical staff are coming out. We have to take him to a medical facility. And backstage we have Kane and the Undertaker. I think it's over between them and the shield though after what the shield did to him. We saw the shield triple power bomb abyss attack Kane and Undertaker. Strong words from Kane and The Undertaker who will be facing the bar at WDF Rebellion defending their tag team titles. Oh, this is interesting. Shawn Michaels and Malik Brown they actually got along on United winning their tag match. Unfinished business. Shawn Michaels faces Tyson Kidd up next. 
And then Malik Brown has a stale score to settle with Breeze and Kid. And here comes the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, going alongside Malik Brown. I believe that WED of Rebellion. It will be Shawn Michaels and Malik Brown taking on Tyson Kidd and Tyler Breeze in the tag team match. Both superstars have had their issues with Joshua Bishop. And now their focus has turned to Tyson Kidd and Tyler Breeze. Tyson Kidd and Tyler Breeze believe they've, that they were the gatekeepers of the original WED of NXT. And then like when Malik Brown came around started beating them. Remember one of them calls Malik Brown and that's the NXT access for WDF WrestleMania. And the bad boy still there. And also, there's going to be a show called Trilby to the Troops coming up. And we're going to have Malik Brown actually face off against Finn Balor and it's settling the score match. For now, they've got to focus on the task at hand. So, remember, at WDF NXT take over the end, we saw Malik Brown and Finn Balor defeat Tyson Kidd and Tyler Green. Now, Malik Brown, now Finn Balor has moved on to bigger tasks such as CM Punk and now Randy Orton. We will be Malik, so Finn Balor facing off against the Viper, Randy Orton, at WDF Rebellion. You look on Tyson Kid, you know he has a big task at hand taking on the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels. He does the pain the butt on it. the outside print security himself, Tyler Breeze. Here we go. This match is underway. Tyson King against the legend, the icon, the heartbreak kid, showstopper himself, Shawn Michaels. You know, deep down, I think there's still some resentment from Tyson Kidd after what Shawn Michaels did to Bret Hart in 97 at the Survivor Series. Tyson Kidd, the last of the Hart Dungeon graduates. They have some chips on their shoulders. Kid got Michaels in a headlock. Michaels tossing Kid into the ropes. Knocked him down with a back elbow. And we will let you know the medical condition of Ryback as the show goes on. Ryback took a hard fall on the concrete after that running power slam. And Tyson Kid counters the right hand. Oh, Kid looking to fly. No, Shawn Michaels, the vet savvy veteran he is, countered that and saw that coming. Shawn Michaels had a lot to go through. He tried to take Joshua Bishop under his wing, trying to prevent Bishop from making the mistake that Shawn Michaels made. All the demons that Michaels had a battle. And look at Tyson Kidd taking advantage of the distraction from Tyler Breeze. Going for a, co a unique cover. Look at this. I have never seen anything like that. That's like a spider pin. Joshua Bishop betrayed Shawn Michaels and showed his true colors by attacking Shawn Michaels. Joshua Bishop wanted one thing and that was the WEDF title so that Shawn Michaels has no room to talk. That Shawn Michaels was the reason why he quit. One of the big reasons why he quit WEDF. He was swinging that breaker into the cover now. Here's a one, and Kid got his hand on the ropes. The fans getting behind Shawn Michaels. 
Shawn Michaels actually won a King of the Ring match against Joshua Bishop. Thanks to the referee seeing that Shawn Michaels' hand was underneath the ropes. Restarted the match. Bishop was too aggressive there. Now, and remember, Malik Brown also defeated Joshua Bishop, which led to Michael, no, Bishop quitting WEDF because Bishop was going to throw the match up by using a steel chair. After all the hell that Bishop did, trying to bring Malik Brown into a WEDF, there's a chair in the ring. The kid again hit the rope. Only for Bishop to turn on Malik Brown, calling him selfish and a sellout. And now Michael's controlling the match early, but Tyson Kidd, here we've also offensive move. There's a Hurricane Rana there. And now Kidd going to work on Shawn Michaels. It was a drop kick right in the face. Oh, kid, face first goes Shaw Michaels with that flatliner. Look at the cover four into the face. There's a one, there's a two, and there's a kick out by Shaw Michaels. Kid going for a suplex when Michaels gets out of it. Now Michaels with a knife edge chop. Another knife edge chop. Also on the road, and there's a flying forearm from Shaw Michaels. That is classic Shaw Michaels. You now Shaw Michaels looking to get. Turn up the pace into what he wants. Back suplex. He could go for a flying at the top of the drop. But no, this time Michael's changing it up. Michael's going up to the top rope. Is he going to hit the elbow? Let's go for a moonsault. And a kick at it too. And once again, Tyler Breeze on the apron. And Tyson Kidd taking advantage. Kid, maybe looking to set up something. Maybe hit the sharpshooter or something. Face first again. Big kick and a spinning heel kick for Shawn Michaels. He'll look to set up something. Kid thinking of. No one holding the rival kid's going for. Shawn Michaels. Now with the Russian leg sweep. Now Michaels looking to go up top, looking to fly. And look at Kid wildly getting out of the way. He knew that. He was aware of that elbow. He knew he was going to try to kill the band. Oh, Shawn Michaels still trying to find out. He got Michaels flying across body. Hooks the leg. Will this be it? Here's a one. Kicks out at two. Now Shawn Michaels, Irish whip. No one home there. Oh. Nicely done there. Back elbow. And now Shawn Michaels looking to go up top again. The high flyer, the legend. Oh, there's a splash, a frog splash. And now Michaels, unconventional, looking to tour up the band. Here we go. Look at him hit some sweet chin music. Can he hit it on Tyson Kidd? He does. Sweet chin music connects. Hooks the leg. This is match over. Hook one. Those two, that's all she wrote. Shawn Michaels with a big victory, gaining momentum, heading into WCDF for Doug. Malik Brown looking on, part of his new ally, Tyler Breeze. Aggravated on the outside is Breeze and Kid are going to have to retreat heading into WED for Doug. Oh, 
Here's the number one contender, John Morrison, who defeated Bobby Lashley. Thanks to Lashley refusing Triple H's help. Nightwire Cinderella run of, as the Intercontinental Champion. Very similar to the Cinderella run of the Tennessee Titans in the playoffs. Will it come to a head? from Zack Ryder, but he again is the underdog. John Morrison, a multiple time champion in WEDF. One time he's never held a WEDF Intercontinental title. But up next, Nikki Bella faces off against Bailey, and the winner will actually challenge Sasha Banks at WEDF Rebellion for the WEDF Women's Championship, first Women's Championship defense since last attack 2009. Some twin magic here as Brie Bella is in the corner of Nikki. Championship. And finally, after years and years, we finally have women competing in WEDF. Sure, after United Champions Extreme Rules, we didn't see much of the women because there was a lot going on. And now they have their chance to shine. <clears throat> the lives go on on SmackDown, and we have confirmed that Ryback has been admitted to a medical facility. Being checked up for internal bleeding as well as a possible neck injury. Ryback could be out for months. This match is underway. It's Nikki Bella against Bailey and Nikki Bella taunting Bailey. And Bailey having none of it. Having none of the attitude, that diva like attitude from Nikki Bella. There's a drop kick. And quick cover it here, trying to end it early. One knows who will challenge Sasha Banks at WED of Rebellion. Will it be Nikki Bella, the self proclaimed leader of the Div Divas Revolution? Or will it be Sasha Banks, who could be. The 
argued as the pioneer in the WWE women's division. There's a clothesline, a backbreaker, and a boot to the face. Now look at this. Oh, Bailey with the counter. Roll two for a cover. Two and no. A big elbow. There's a cover and only a one count for Bailey. Nikki Bella concussed Naomi in the WED Women's Tournament. We haven't heard from Naomi since that encounter. Go for a scoop slam. No. Bailey with that quickness. Bailey likes the hug, but she can sure fight in that ring. There's a cover. There's one. There's two and no. And a big kick to the back. Bailey is counted as they come. Part of the four horsewomen from NXT and WWE. Oh, a spine buster from uh, Nikki Bella. Trying to bridge herself. Trying to hold all the weight down. And no, Bailey kicks at it too. Some surprising power from Nikki Bella, who's actually improved in the ring. There's a big forearm. Here's a cover one, two, and no. Oh, what a boot to the face of Now Nikki has some evil intentions in mind. Going for a suplex. Bailey fighting out. Now Bailey looking for a back suplex. Knocking down Nikki Bella. Now look at Bailey going up top. What's Bailey thinking? Bailey thinking high risk. There's a diving elbow off the top rope. Hooks the leg, there's a one, there's a two, and a kick at it too. And again, Bailey taking her eyes off the prize, trying to focus on Brie Bella. Brie Bella just staring her down. And look at Nikki again from behind. Crucifix pin, there's one, there's two, and no. Now Nikki with some kicking out a DDT. Four into the face, there's one. There's two, and again, Bailey kicks out of two. Fans trying to get behind Bailey. Back suplex, no. Look at the agility from Bailey. It's a nuclear driver, but doesn't go for the cover. Now Bailey, oh, hard shot to the head. I think Bailey's got thinking in her mind, what do I need to do? She's like hesitating to hit a move. She's dragging the match on. That's a lot of Nikki to stay in it. Oh, the shoving her away. Rolls her over. Here's a cover one, two, and no. A clothesline. I think he's going for something. Go for a cover now. One. Two and no. Very competitive match so far. And neither has gained the upper hand.
Bailey going underneath. Oh, what a kick to the face. And now Nikki going for the second row. Another boot to the face. So far, there's no more can this match. Nikki's getting the upper hand. Wait, she's going for it. Her feet is on the road. Wait, referee doesn't see it. There's two. There's three. Bella is going on to WEDF Rebellion. And she cheated to win in this match. She had her feet on the road. The referee didn't see a thing. Oh, hold on a second. Here comes the WEDF Women's Champion. Here comes the ball. Sasha Banks. That's Sasha Banks. Looks like she's going to get a close-up on her WEDF Rebellion opponent. Knight's not backing down. This could turn out ugly before WED of Rebellion. We're going to stare down look at the Bellas. They're retreating. Sasha Banks staring down her challenger as well as the potential thorn in her side. The person that could be in Nikki's corner, Brie Bella. Who will become WEDF Women's Champion? Will Sasha Banks prove to be a fighting champion? Will Nikki Bella prove otherwise? Here's the New Day. Who will be facing off the, against the Shield in a six man tag later on tonight? Unfinished business with the bar, but the bar have other matters at hand. Face hung up against the brothers of destruction, challenging them for the WD tag team titles. But hey, if the uh, bar somehow upset the brothers of destruction, we could see the new day possibly present themselves as a thorn in the side of the bar, no matter what. And here comes a team that's clearly not on the same page as of late. Here comes Roman Reigns, as well as Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, the former WEDF Tag Team Champions, and they really have not been on the same page for a long time. And so I think it's Batman Roman Reigns has been behind the sudden downfall of the Shield. Say that? The Lord Marine has kind of orchestrated some bad decision makings from the Shield. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap and feel the power! It's a new day, yes it is! 
Where is the tag? Here comes the tag team that's always on the same page. All about unicorns and pancakes and journeying down the yellow brick road. Here comes Carter's favorite tag team in WEDF here for New Day. issues with the bar they're going to prove to the bar that they are they can take a fight to the shield this is going to be one epic encounter Set for action. Seth Rollins will start off against Kofi Kingston. They circle off against each other, looking to tie it up. Kofi will decide headlock. Now Kofi gets with the side headlock to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins claiming he's the architect of the shield. Well, he's not been the architect lately. But Roman Reigns has set Rollins in ambush for failure. Roman's inserted himself into the tag title match. Then, <clears throat> I think uh, the slight distraction when one of the shield members calls him the rematch. <clears throat> now Kofi Kingston. Former WEDF champion with a big back elbow. Kofi told me that eventually he wants to win the WEDF championship again. Said, <clears throat> don't forget about that Cinderella run I had nine years ago. I still want to win. And the new day of my brothers for life. And I'll ride with them till the end. The Shield, they started in WEDF. On the final ECCW episode, helping CM Punk defeat Rob Van Dam. <coughs> oh, it is Gurry. Helping to defend CM Punk defend World Heavyweight title. And Xavier Woods is in against Dean Ambrose. There's a drop kick. New Day is going to use this if they pick up a victory over the Shield. That would be a huge statement victory for the bar. Ambrose going for an elbow. Looks like Woods hit him. Oh, there's a drop kick. And now reverse hours whipped by Ambrose. Woods holds on the apron to the forearm of the face. And now Woods going up to the top road. What's Woods thinking of? There's a drop kick off the top. Missile drop kick. And now a tag to the powerhouse. But like I said, this is a message. That the new day to keep the former tag team title, title holders. Oh, Ambrose with a bulldog. That's a Jody there. That could be a message to both Kane and the Undertaker or the bar. Definitely the bar. I don't know how the bar are going to pull it off against the Brothers of Destruction, that rebellion. <clears throat> and now, here's an interesting map. Right here, Roman Reigns and Big E, the powerhouses of their respective groups. And Roman Reigns and Big E going at it. Roman Reigns also had some you know, feud there with Abyss. And now Roman Reigns going off the top. Oh no, Big E quote. Goes underneath the clothesline attempt and Big E with a power move. Big power move right there from the powerhouse verse one. And no, big kick out from Roman Reigns. 
You know, Roman with the left hand. Roman Reigns also probably perhaps the best striker out of the group of this year. Well, you see, R Rollins tried to take Big E out. Big E held off, but got caught by, by a Samoan drop. Got Ambrose. Stomping on Big E. Referee telling Roman to get out of the ring. Here comes Rollins. Now Rollins going to the outside. What is Rollins thinking here? We have our springboard drop kick. No one home there. And Big E counts with a big close on, but Big E's in the wrong corner. Taking out Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Rollins with an insecurity as Big E was a little confused there or dazed, didn't know what to do there. Now Seth Rollins, big right hand, the forearm, trying to ground the power of Big E, but Big E with a big power there. Now Big E trying to single out Seth Rollins. <clears throat> the new day doing what the shield do. Trying to isolate their opponent. Look at this. Ooh, a knee. Nice double team. Gut buster into a knee to the face. No Kofi. Ooh, look at that. Look at the athleticism of Kofi. I wonder why he can fly. The former television and WDF champion, former tag champion, United States champion, and Kofi going for it again. No, no one home. <clears throat> Here comes Roman Reigns. Here comes the big dog. A close one knocking down Kofi Kingston. Roman Reigns is taking it to Kofi. Knocking down Kofi. Now the shield trying to single up the new day. Playing to their strengths. Now Dean Ambrose taking on Kofi Kingston with the punches in the face after a cross body. Dean Ambrose gets through the lunatic fringe of group. This crazy man of the shield. I of disappointed that Henry Rollins couldn't get the job done. The SmackDown United Champion is three rules and very disappointed that Roman Reigns orchestrated himself taking, I think, Rollins' place. And he tried to take Dean Ambrose's place. And we had Seth Rollins fail to win the Intercontinental title against Zack Ryder. And the shield has not been the same. Look at Dean Ambrose. Oh, there's that. Delayed clothesline. That number is going outside the ring for time. There's one, there's two, and a kick out by Ho Hopi. And Roman Reigns has took out Big E. He tried to break up the pin there. And now a tag to Seth Rollins. With the WWE Universe trying to get behind the New Day, but the Shield are now in control of the New Day. No, Kofi's up top. No, Kofi Kingston battling off. Seth Rollins, there's a crossbody. Kofi didn't go for the pin. Instead, he tags in Xavier Woods. And look at Ambrose. Look at Ambrose. And Xavier Woods. Oh, what is this? Oh, shades of all truth. Xavier was standing off the shield. Taking out Rollins, and now here comes Roman. Oh, big punch. Big Larry, I mean. And a Superman punch. Oh, don't tell me he's going to allow Rollins 
to pick up the win this way. The Shield looking like they're working together. There's one. There's two. But no. Rollins took a long time to get to the cover. And now well, Ziggy Woods perhaps to the cover enough to kick out. Now Big E's in the ring. Down goes Roman. Big E returns the favor. This is tells the Shield you're not going to play your game against us. And now the New Day are back in control. A snap there. Nick, Larry, and a kick to the head. <clears throat> and now Kofi Kingston. There's the boom drop. The news that Kevin Iron wants banned from WEDF. Here's the cover now. There's a one, two off the boom drop, and it, Rollins kicks out at two. The match started off with Rollins and Kofi, and now it looks like it might end with Rollins and Kofi. No, Rollins counters. Tag to Ambrose. Ambrose looking to tag on Kofi. No, Kofi ducks. Kofi hits a close line. And now a tag to Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods and Dean Ambrose finally going at it again. And there's a head scissor takedown. Now Woods. No, Ambrose fighting back. Ambrose taking out Kofi. Cheap shot of Kofi Kingston. But Woods knocking down Ambrose with that back elbow. Now a tag in to Big E. Are they going to end it this way? Oh! Uses Big E hit the big ending. The Big E. Saying, I can do it a different way. Ambrose is down for the count. Will this be a, this will be a huge upset. This will be one. This will be two. It's a four. It gets over. And the New Day have just upset the Shield. And the Shield's downfall continues. I think the New Day has earned some pancakes after this. And once again, another disappointing loss for the Hounds of Justice. But the New Day serve their own just courtesy of Booty Oaks. And the Bar and Brothers of Destruction better be watching as well as the Dudley Boys because the New Day are gunning to become second stop tag team. And they made a statement win here tonight. And now things are getting very hasty between Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns. Rowan disappointed saying that he should have been in the match. I mean this this is this is starting to get out of hand. We can see the shield implode before our very eyes. Ambrose looking like he's retreating. Ambrose is walking away. Ambrose is walking away from Rollins and Reigns following his pinfall loss. This is not looking good for the Shield. Not looking good at all. Oh, here's Lashley and Flair. Betrayed by Bobby Lashley. Oh, Flair just pitching fit because Lashley didn't join it with Flair. Flair, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm hearing.
And Lasher and Regret trying to join up with Triple H. Time will tell. Here's one of the King of the Ring finalists, Dolph Ziggler, who will be facing Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ziggler's on the biggest wave of momentum in his career. Tribute to the truth, Ziggler and also going to be teaming up. Strong words from Dolph Ziggler. Says the show is here to stay. And Ziggler has a heavy task at hand. He's failed to win. The World Heavyweight Championship against then World Champion Kurt Angle. But tonight, he has a chance at retribution and huge momentum. He's already defeated. Well, you know, the 14 other superstars have went to King of the Ring and failed. Dolph Ziggler, can he continue that wave of momentum before he faces Stone Cold at King of the Ring at Rebellion? In the King of the Ring Finals, he faces off against the Olympic gold medalist, former World Champion Kurt Angle. Ziggler, he's defeated many superstars in the WEDF King of the Rings tournament. Champion Kurt Angle. You know, Kurt Angle has been making a little enemy out of the Miz. Oh, that was the last match we saw Kurt Angle compete in. That was actually on the United episode 15. Miz and Goldberg defeated tag team with John Cena and Kurt Angle, but Kurt Angle says he's not going to let his previous losses derail him. He says he's ready for a fight. He says Dolph Ziggler bring his A-game because he's going to prove why he is still one of the best in the world. And prove why he's still better than Dolph Ziggler. He says, oh, it's true. It's damn true. At the King of the Ring tournament, we saw Dolph Ziggler defeat Jeff Hardy in the second round. He defeated Zack Starr in the first round. And then in round three, he defeated Bray Wyatt in a big upset. And then he defeated Smokey in the semifinals. But Kurt Angle is a whole nother level of opponent here. And Kurt Angle's had Dolph Ziggler's number. They feuded briefly last season as well. I believe Ziggler 
I'm not sure if he defeated Kurt Angle. Iris Whitman in the corner and Ziggler hangs on. Angle looked a little aggressive there. And now they collar up again. And another clean break between these two. Dolph Ziggler's defeated Alexis of Shawn Michaels and The Rock. He wants to prove he can beat Kurt Angle and then Stone Cold Steve Austin. And if Dolph Ziggler does that, you know Samoa Joe has that impressive, impressive streak of beating big names as well, such as Edge and Randy Orton and Joshua Bishop, Shawn Michaels. And Ziggler countering the suplex attempt by Kurt Angle. Dolph Ziggler came up close against The Undertaker in episode 325. And Ziggler with some right hands. So this is going to be perhaps the match of the night on SmackDown. And down goes Ziggler. Iris from the corner and Kurt Angle shoulder first no one home. Kurt Angle took a nasty blow and now Ziggler planting Kurt Angle with the DDT. Hook him, no not hooking like four in the face and no. Now Ziggler turn on him. Jack Swagger the former Division 1 teammates and so far Jack Ever since then, Ziggler's been on the rocket ship. There's a back suplex and a kip up. And nearly defeated Kurt Angle at lashing back to win that World Heavyweight Championship. Ooh, nice move there. Ziggler bouncing off the ropes. Oh, Kurt Angle exploding with a belly belly suplex. Kurt Angle, a suplex machine. That's the originator of Suplex City. And Angle is shifting into that next gear. Well, for a bunch of suplexes now, a snap suplex. Four into the face, but Ziggler has his foot underneath the ropes. Angle with a German suplex. Angle, like I said, shifting into that other gear. <clears throat> There's a one. I know. Ziggler with a DDT. Four to the face again. One, two, and no. Third angle, most uh, those matches against Goldberg was two and one against him. Third angle says he still wants to win the World Heavyweight Championship with stiff competition, such as Miz and Goldberg and the champion John Cena. The task might be too difficult now, Kurt Angle, at this stage of his career. Was Ziggler looking for a super kick? No, famous sir. His the famous sir was not expecting that. One, two, and no. A near fall there. And Ziggler again, the cockiness. So he tells Kurt Angle to stay down. 
And Kurt Angle fighting back. Fighting off the defiance of Dolph Ziggler. Look at Kurt Angle. Oh, man. Oh, it's Kroger suplex. It's like a T-bone suplex there. The right hand and the headbutt. No, Kurt Angle going for a jerk. No. Ziggler shifts his weight and hits a headlock. Nelson right hands as Ziggler trying to turn the pace into his style. Ooh, splash into the corner. And now Ziggler in a string of elbows. How many elbows is he going to hit? There's five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten elbows. There's one, two, and no. Ziggler not happy. Thought he had Kurt Angle beat, but better, better not be focusing on the referee too much. Don't take your eyes off Kurt Angle. Angle will make you pay. We already know that. Angle rolling up Ziggler. Angle rolling Ziggler one, two, window. And Kurt Angle with an EDT. Nicely done, and Ziggler rolls to the outside. Ziggler trying to take Kurt Angle. Or Kurt Angle saw that coming. Now this is taken to the outside. Angle with some right hands and Ziggler goes face first into the steps. Actually, like shoulder blade first, collarbone first. And Ziggler knocked into the crowd. And Ziggler fighting back. Kurt with an uppercut. Kick to the gut. And now Kurt Angle. Uh oh, here we go. He's going to hit the trifecta. Not releasing. Arms hooked. Ziggler going for a ride. Three German suplexes. How much did that take out of Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle, the older opponent here. Here's a one. Two and no will age be a factor here. When Kurt Angle and Ziggler faced off earlier, Angle is a little younger. When you get older, it tends to put a burden on you. It tends to wear you out more. Kurt Angle looking for Angle Slam. No Ziggler counters. And super kick. He has super kick out of nowhere. Looks like will this be at one, two. He was just like, oh, Kurt Angle kicks out of two. Kurt Angle gets out of two. Well, Dolph Ziggler led a Survivor Series led team like the Phoenix Turning Team Kofi. Kofi Angle and Osha Jacks. Oh no, no one hold with that small package. Angle going for it again. He's gonna hit Angle Slam! Angle Slam connects! Will this be a one, two, and Ziggler, Ziggler kicks out. And Kurt Angle has that, did you really kick out? Look on his face. And Kurt Angle plowing down on Ziggler. Kurt Angle defeated Dolph Ziggler in episode 287, SmackDown as well. And look at Ziggler though. Ziggler will plant Kurt Angle with a DDT. Float over DDT. On episode 284, SmackDown Sheamus and Ziggler defeated Kurt Angle and Kofi. There's not many, many encounters between these two. 
Oh, Jer whoa, what a German suplex. They pretend they faced off. Kurt Angle's had the upper hand. Angle go for Angle slam again. No, Ziggler lands on his feet. Super kick again. Is the super kick again? Will this be it? This will be huge up to one, two. Ziggler did it. Dolph Ziggler did it. Ziggler has done the unthinkable. He has finally defeated Kurt Angle in a one-on-one -on -one match. Dolph Ziggler with another big victory. His victory becoming the biggest in his career, but the match against Tone Cold Steve Austin will be perhaps the biggest in his career. Can Ziggler win? Mojo has some strong work for CM Punk. from the Samoan submission we've seen. It's going to be a war at Rebellion between those two. And here comes the man who's had some issues with the Viper, Randy Orton. Here comes Ben Balor. Off the heels of a close encounter with Stone Cold Steve Austin on WEF Raw. Ben Balor. They will be facing off against Randy Orton at WEF Rebellion. And you know what happened on uh, the Raw the SmackDown after night of Cambridge Extreme Rules. Ben Balor has not forgotten. After Finn Balor defeated Edge, Randy Orton and Edge ganged up on Finn Balor. And then after the fact that Balor was taken out, Orton punted Edge, and we haven't seen a radar superstar since. And then Balor says to, to him and Randy Orton now. And you know, CM Punk still, I believe CM Punk was behind all of this. <clears throat> CM Punk was behind with that. And he didn't want Finn Balor anywhere near him. Finn Balor going to make a statement here tonight on what Finn Balor has to say about this situation regarding Randy Whitney. Oh my God, there's Randy Orton. Randy Orton with an RKO out of nowhere. Randy Orton just surprised Ben Balor by attacking with an RKO out of nowhere. And now the assault begins. 
Randy Orton trying to make sure Finn Balor doesn't even make it to Rebellion. Another Viper sent him an assault. Finn Balor doesn't even know what hit him. Oh man. Big uppercut. Randy Orton just assaulting and destroying the leader of the Balor Club right now. Randy Orton does not want Balor to make it to WED of Rebellion. Oh no. What is Orton doing? Orton's getting a steel chair. Or Randy Orton's getting a steel chair. Oh no, come on. No, 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 no! Oh man! Oh! Randy Orton just decimating Balor. No, 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 no. No. Don't tell me he's gonna hit the punk kick. No, he's gonna go for an RKO. And an insult to injury. RKO again. Randy Orton making the statement the apex prayer of the Viper proved why he is the snake attacking when you least expect it will this be the sight we see at WEDF Rebellion Randy Orton stands tall over Finn Balor. It's still to come we have our main event. CM Punk and The Bar take on the Brothers of Destruction and Samoa Joe. And speaking of CM Punk and The Bar, here they are backstage. CM Punk has some new cronies. Are you not entertained? making his suggestion to Tom Brady. CM Punk making the statement to the WED of Champions Samoa Joe will the streak end speaking of WED of Rebellion it's just it's not too far away up first on the car we have the pre-show is our group will face off against Evan Bourne this match was made earlier tonight after the interference made by these two in the Braun Strowman versus Ryback match this will come to a head and on the Raw side this was made as well. Rusev will take on Matt Hardy. Rusev of the O'Shea Alliance will take on Matt Hardy, and Matt Hardy will be at it alone. Chris Jericho will be facing off. I think that gets Evan O'Shea on the main card. But we'll get to that later on. Tyler Breeze and Tyson Kidd will take on Malik Brown and Shawn Michaels. And we have the Fatal 4-Way. As Kevin Owens defends against Smokey, Del Rio, and Sami Zayn, but Kevin Owens will also has to defend at Tribute to the Truth against O'Shea, 
Jericho and Matt Hardy. Things could change in a heartbeat. We have the Intercontinental title more than against Ryder. Will Ryder's Cinderella run come to an end at the hands of the Shaman of Sexy? First ever WWF Women's Championship defense since flashing back. Nikki Bella challenges the champion, Sasha Banks. It'll be boss time and we'll make you prove some twin magic. And we just saw Finn Balor be attacked by Randy Orton. But Finn Balor come into rebellion and get some re revenge on the Viper. Also we have the bar challenging Kane and the Undertaker for the WEDF Tag Team Championship. The bar will be competing up next. We'll have a little preview for that. Also, we have no, it's not Jericho and O'Shea are not facing off. But instead, Danny Jackpot stays up against Bray Wyatt. Former stable mates clash. Then we have the WEDF Championship. CM Punk taking on Samoa Joe. Best in the world versus the streak is all about honor and pride here. And finally, not finally, but second to last, finally, World Heavyweight Championship on the line. John Cena is challenged by both The Miz and Goldberg. This has been brewing for a while. Miz has his chance at the title and revenge against Goldberg. Cena's open challenge will be answered as well. A tribute to the troops. Could the landscape change? And finally, the King of the Ring Finals. Go Cole takes on Dolph Ziggler. That's a lot to say. It all takes place at Rebellion. It'll be coming up. Very soon. Well, up next is our main event. CM Punk and the Bar take on Kane, Undertaker, and Samoa Joe and a star stack. Main event here on SmackDown. difficulties with the smack between overlapping. Here comes Cesaro. One half of the bar and here we go with our main event. Hitting challengers. We're we trying to make a statement. You know, Samoa Joe's streak could very well end. It's this match right here. And Joe doesn't even have to be pinned or submitted. main event and they're trying to avoid the confrontation against the New Day. The New Day were victorious against the Shield and it, the bar, there's no doubt that they will maybe we're watching that match. The bar is talking strategy for this match. Here comes the crooked SmackDown general manager himself, the self-proclaimed best in the world. Man with a power trip here on SmackDown. Here comes CM Punk. CM Punk has made it very personal with Samoa Joe. He's used underhanded tactics. He's made Samoa Joe's life a living hell. 
It wouldn't surprise me that CM, CM Punk would abuse his power again against Samoa Joe. CM Punk's been in power ever since Bobby Lashley failed to win against CM Punk at Lashley Back. Well, CM Punk has been quite fair in some of his opportunities. Ever since he became number one contender, he's been abusing that power to a whole new level. And here comes the big red machine. Here comes one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions for Kane. It's all hellfire and brimstone here for the big red machine. And then the Undertaker defeated the Shield at Nightmare Championship Spring Rules. And then the SmackDown after that. They played mind games against the bar. You know the bar's got to be intimidated by this. Presence! That bar is hot. Here comes the Phenom. Here comes the Demon of Death Valley, the Undertaker. Chilling, intimidating entrances in professional wrestling. Get that core every time this man comes out. out it's like an interest you, you just can't explain and this is where many opponents fail this is where the undertaker intimidates you right here And here comes the WEDF champion, here comes Samoa Joe. All five men are waiting on the man that, quite frankly, has had the most impressive streak I've ever seen since The Undertaker's undefeated streak. And could that be a potential match? What if Joe goes all the way to WrestleMania undefeated? and challenges the Undertaker. That would be one hell of a contest.
Here we go, Kane and Cesaro are going to start off this match. The great Ray Mysterio and the strong Swiss Superman. This is going to be an interesting match here. Cesaro with a lover cut versus the power of Kane. Kane can strike with the best of them as well. Oh, Kane with an uppercut. Kane fought back with uppercuts. If there's a man that can overpower Cesaro in the uppercut battle, it's Kane, the big red machine. Kane with a right hand, Cesaro stunned. Another uppercut. And Cesaro is going to work on Kane. This is quite frankly surprising me here. Oh, another one. Cesaro with a, that counter. Oh, there's a big boot. And another one. Kane with a big clothesline. Sheamus tried to get a cheap shot in, but failed. Another uppercut. Big right hand. Another uppercut. Now a tag into the Diva of the Death Valley, the best pure striker in the game. And Cesaro kind of wishes he didn't start off this match. Here comes the Undertaker with some strikes and right hands and lefts, jabs, and the whole kitchen sink. No one holds that clothesline up. And Cesaro wanting out in a heartbeat. And here comes the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. No one home there. Undertaker just laying into the Celtic Warrior. Oh, this is going to be classic Undertaker. Oh, thought he was going for old school, but no. Sheamus saw it coming. Sheamus bouncing off the ropes and runs it to a big boot by the Undertaker. Undertaker hooking the leg early. Here's a one. A no. Sheamus, Cesaro, and Punk look to gain momentum. The winner of this match will gain momentum heading into... WEDF Rebellion, the fourth pay-per-view of season four. Undertaker walk of the ropes. Hook in the leg, there's a one. There's two and no. Again with the strike. And Sheamus knocking down Undertaker with a clothesline. Remember CM Punk actually started this war between the Shield and the Brothers of Destruction when Punk allowed the Shield to come out and destroy the Undertaker. When he came into the A-Guy attack, the Miz came to the A-Guy attack. I don't think this between the Shield and Brothers of Destruction is over with yet. Here comes Sheamus and Samoa Joe. Joe's in now. Joe and Sheamus have had some history. They fought in the Royal Rumble qualifying match at the second Royal Rumble. Or well, the first Royal Rumble, one of the two. Ours were in the corner. Oh, here comes Cesaro. Joe don't see him coming. Cesaro with a big cheap shot, but Samoa Joe fighting off Cesaro. Clothesline and Punk trying to get involved too. Oh, look at Joe. Oh, the agility and athleticism that Joe brings to the table. He doesn't pay attention and Seamus comes from behind. With a fiery red hand and now Punk with a drop kick. Now Punk trying to ground some old Joe. Oh, Joe saw him coming. This is a preview of what's in store. At Rebellion, the Punk unleashing hell on Samoa Joe. But Samoa Joe is a war machine. He is a tank. It's going to be hard to keep him down. The Punk's already feeling firsthand of that. 
the Samoa Joe with an STO. And now Joe with a Santon. Cesaro's back in. Oh, look at Cesaro. What is he going for? A power bomb. And now Punk tagging in Sheamus, and this is the bar at work. This is why they're most, one of the most lethal teams in WEDF. <laughs> Spinebuster. Now, Seamus going to work. No, reversed by Joe. And Joe with a close on to the back of the neck. Now it tags with Big Red Machine Kane. Kane grounding Seamus. And now a close line to Big Red. Powers are in the corner. Kane charging in. There's a big clothesline. Sheamus trying to get in the corner. He gets a tag to Sheamus to Cesaro. Cesaro with the drop kick took Kane down to one knee and runs into a wall. So Cesaro counting out of that. Cesaro with the right hand. Another big right. And another one. A Kane fighting back. I know Kane will for like a claw might maneuver. I don't think we've seen this at Kane. Because they're always trying to fight out of this. Kane can make Cesaro tap out right now. Look at the strength. Look at the power. Look at the power of Cesaro. Kane can't believe it. And look at the strength of Cesaro. Who Kane up in the air and hit his European uppercut. The king, fortunately, was too close to the ropes. Other than that, could have been the end of the match there. And Samoa Joe's streak could have ended right there, and Punk would have been laughing at him in rebellion. And now Punk is in. So far, they are grounding Kane, keeping him away from Samoa Joe and the Undertaker, two of the most destructive forces in WEDF today. The two destructive forces on WEDF SmackDown. Cheap shots right there. See him both taking cheap shots at Joe and Undertaker. Moonbunk had his battles against the Undertaker last season as well as Brock Lesnar, the world heavyweight champion. He came with a big boot. And now Kane. Oh, big uppercut. Now a tag to the dead man. Undertaker going, going for a tombstone. No, no, Punk counters out of it. Punk rolls Undertaker up. Punk rolls Undertaker up, but Undertaker, wait, one. No, only one count there. And the Undertaker with a big back body drop. Sending Punk for a ride. And now look at Undertaker with a furious strikes of CM Punk. The greatest dictator of SmackDown. And CM Punk trying to crawl his way to a tag to Sheamus. And Sheamus, want, Sheamus going in. Fiery red hand to the Undertaker. A cheap shot. But Undertaker... Elbow to Sheamus. Now Punk again from behind. 
the numbers game, trying to use the numbers game to their advantage, and Punk in the wrong side now again. Henderson tagged in Samoa Joe and Joe getting some revenge after what Punk did that cheap shot earlier. Sheamus trying to get involved. Joe is taking on the whole team by himself. Joe knows what's at, what's at stake. CM Punk though. Punk going for a DDT. And now Punk looking to fly. What is CM Punk thinking? Oh, he's going for the elbow. No, it looks like he's going to go for the springboard clothesline instead. Pump bounced off the ropes. Springboard clothesline. There's two. And Joe get, again kicks out. Punks, you know, it's going to take a lot to put Joe down. And now Joe is in the wrong corner. And now the Swiss Superman against the Simone Submission Machine. Another alpha cut. Oh, another alpha cut. Knocking down Joe. And Joe is reeling. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Can Cesaro do this? He just swings some more Joe around and around and around for a ride. The king of swing. Swing Samoa Joe around and around and around and finally let's go. Will this be enough to put Joe away? One, two, and no. Another kick out. Now Sheamus back in it. CM Punk just looking on, trying to taunt Samoa Joe there. Oh no, look at... Go for... Celtic Cross. And now Sheamus looking to end it, looking to hit the bro kick. And Sheamus hit the bro kick on the WDF champion. Well, Sheamus pins Samoa Joe. Sheamus taking too much time. Taunton taking way too much time. That's going to cost him. There ain't no way he's going to hit the bro kick. No. And Joe with a power slam. This could be the opening. Joe needs to make a tag to Kane or Undertaker. Who's going to tag? He tags in the dead man. And here comes the Phenom. The Demon of Death Valley. Some right hands. Down goes Sheamus. Punk getting involved. Trying to take some swings of the Undertaker. But no, we're a big uppercut. And now Cesaro in. Trying to take swings and no avail. Undertaker with a DDT. Cesaro rolling out of the ring. Now it's Sheamus and The Undertaker. Undertaker into that other gear now. I don't think he can stop The Undertaker when he's in this other gear. Big right hands, left and rights. Undertaker now whipping Sheamus. There's a, no, big boot, no one home. Wait, Undertaker though. Undertaker, who's gonna hit it? He's gonna Google Choke Slam. Hooks the leg. Will this be a one? Two. And Sheamus kicks out a two. Undertaker can't believe it. Undertaker singling for the end. 
Here we go. Is it time for Tombstone Pile Driver? Undertaker's got him up. Sheamus in trouble. Is he going for the ride? No, Sheamus gets out of it. And a chop block to Undertaker. And Sheamus quickly tagging it out to Cesaro. Now Cesaro trying to get his swings in. And look at this! Swiss overcut! Two and no Undertaker kicks out! Cesaro cannot believe himself. Cesaro may be looking to hit the neutralizer. Can he get the Undertaker up for the neutralizer? No, he's going for an uppercut. Undertaker counters out of it. And a flying clothesline. Now Kane comes in. Kane with a boot. Now goes Sheamus. Now goes Punk. Cesaro is in trouble. Now Kane whipping Cesaro. Could this be the end of the match? There's a big boot. Kane going up high. What's the big red machine thinking? Flying clothes on off the top rope. Oh, here we go. Kane's about to send Cesaro to hell. Here we go. He's got him googled. Kane's got him up. Choke slam. Choke slam to Cesaro. Down goes Sheamus. Down goes Punk. Kane hooks the leg. Will this, this be the sign of things to come over down one, two? Kane wins. Kane, Undertaker, and Samoa Joe prevail over the bar and CM Punk. And CM Punk looks living on the outside. Well, this happened at WEDF Rebellion. Still to come, we still have tribute to the troops and United. What an explosive smackdown. This is Frank Lowe signing off. We'll see you at Tribute to the Troops. United, then Rebellion.